Yo, it's K Curds. Marcus Bronzy. We're uh, from the Ain't Got a Clue podcast. Uh, thanks for listening, guys. But did you know that we've also got a Patreon? Yes, and every time we drop an episode on that regular feed that you're listening to now, you also get a bonus episode, a whole episode that we put just as much love and effort into. Guess what? It's exclusive, exclusive, <laughs> exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, so it's an episode just for our patrons. Plus, our patrons get all the regular content early and ad free. So there's right. nobody trying to sell you what, Marcus? There's no one trying to sell you ads. No one's saying, hey, before I shaved my testicles, yeah, I never got any girls. But with the new Bull Shaver 3000, I have a new life and now listen to the rest of the podcast. No, none of that. There's no yeah, ad free. Just pure pod in your ears. Absolutely. So uh, this was a clip from one of our podcasts. Do you know much about the United States of America? I believe that there are some states that are united over there. And I don't want to be there at the moment. All right, cool. But do you know much about their politics? <laughs> Uh, well, <laughs> without sounding too political, I know a little bit about their politics. Right, so this week's question is, in American politics, what is GOP an abbreviation for? Ain't got a clue. No, it's not. It's, that, that would be A-G-A-C. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. You got me, Kay. You got me. You got me. <laughs> I had to think myself there. Like, what's, the, what's the abbreviation for? Ain't got a glue. It's AGAC. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, yeah. No well, idea what that means. Okay, uh, so you uh, can I have a guess? You. Yeah, you can have a guess. You down with GOP? Yeah, yeah you, you know, know me. me. Well, that was POP. Uh, uh, but it's great. You down with GOP? Yo, yeah, you know me. me. Yo, GOP. I got that gop. Got that gop. 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 With a pop. Hop. Scotch. Lotch. <laughs> right, no so it stands for. It um, right, it stands for the Grand Old Party. Now, the Grand Old Party is often in ref in reference to the Republican Party. So you know how America has a two party system. Yep. What's the other one? Democrats, Republicans. There you go. So the Democrats and Republicans. Now the Republican Party is often called the GOP, the Grand Old Party. Now, um, do you know what? Like, it's so weird. Have you ever watched like Hamilton? Yeah, I watched Hamilton. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, After birth of a nation, go. Yeah, I'm not that much of a musical guy, but I gave it a try. <laughs> Wait, wait, there's that bit where she goes, I am on my way to London. I am accompanied by someone who always pays. I was like, raw, get your money, girl. <laughs> Let these man pay for you. Take you out there without spending a penny. Right? I, I love yeah. you. Yeah, I do like picking out the main actors in it when they're in other shows as well, but that's got nothing to do with what we're talking about now. But yeah, no. I, no, because I, in, yeah. in like Hamilton, right? We see when how, you're watching yeah. it, when you're watching Hamilton, um, they don't have the Republican Party or whatever, ah, do they? They no. have like the Federalist. He was wait. Let me let me let me Google Alexander Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton. Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen it live? Yeah, man. What do you mean? Of course, I've was seen it, was it live. It, I've only oh, I saw it like on the VOD system oh, on, like, on Disney. Oh no, that's terrible, man. You need to watch it live. If you see it live. You'll be like, this is spectacular. Well, because when I watched it on Disney Plus as well, I was like, this is trash, bro. They're making us like like slave masters in that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing what a bit of singing can do in it. A bit yeah. of talent. Anybody that's a prick, if they have a bit of talent, you know, do you know what? They're not even that bad. You know what I mean? Like, uh, so yeah, they had the, the Federalist Party was one thing that existed back then, um, and then that, uh, then then from that, I think what you had was. Um, the Republican, the National Republican Party, right? Um, and the Whig Party, the Whig Party. I want to be part of that party, yes. Yeah, they so, got weaves, so the Whig they've Party, got top caps, they've probably got some, um, no, 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 Merkins. no, Whig as in W H I G. Okay, oh, I was excited. There. I thought there'd be like a party where they will have really extravagant hair. No, absolutely not. <laughs> uh, but the Federalist Party was the first political party in the United States, and under Alexander Hamilton, it dominated national government from 1789 to 1801. It became a minority party while keeping its stronghold in New England and made a brief resurgence by opposing the War of 1812. But then it collapsed in its last presidential candidate of 1816. Uh, rem uh, remnants lasted in a few places for a few years. The party appealed to businesses anti-conservatives who favoured banks, national overstate government, manufacturing, an army and a navy, and in world affairs uh, preferred Great Britain and opposed the French Revolution. The party favoured centralisation, federalism, modernisation, and protectionism. Okay. Yeah. 
What's one of the parties you've been to that's like one of your most favourite parties? Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, a um, couple Halloween parties here and there. Yeah. Oh, is that well, on, was? Can we talk about whose parties are? Because they're quite apparently. Quite, I've not oh, been. Oh, my Jamas yeah, yeah. Halloween party. Is that one that has like McDonald's at the party for free? <laughs> yeah. Free chicken nuggets and that. Um, but where you just want food? You just I like house food. parties. Just so we're talking about parties, and I'll be honest, I'm 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 interested in this, but I'm just thinking about all of the parties that I've been to, <laughs> and then none of them have been political. I think I've I've been my mate used to have massive house parties. Why do they call them parties? That's a great. thing. Why don't they just call them organisations? Exactly. It doesn't sound as exciting, does it? Yeah. Kay, I want you to join my party compared to I want you to join my organization. I think a party a party sounds like a party, isn't it? You know, gonna have some fun, create some laws, have a few drinks, you know, change legislation. I, I sort of don't think that was how the world <laughs> came about. Um <laughs> We're gonna have a grand old party, mate. Whatever. But right, let's actually get to what the question was about. So I've given you, there was a lot more parties. So you wouldn't think that, you know, it's, you'd think it stand for something else. But the um, initials, um, GOP, stand for the Grand Old Party and they're synonymous with the Republican Party. Um, and as early as the 1870s, politicians and newspapers began referring to the Republican Party as both the Grand Old Party and the Gallant Old Party. The Gallant Old Party. The Gallant like Old Party to emphasise its role in preserving the Union during the Civil War. Like, American politics is mad. Like, because you know when um when you're watching things like um Hamilton, yeah. back uh, when you're watching that, you have to sort of remember in your head, because when they're talking about the South, they're talking about, like, Washington and those places, right? No. Uh, they're talking about Virginia, sorry, because at that point there was only thirteen states. Because yeah, yeah, because Texas wasn't part of America at that point. It was not. It was just doing its own thing. Yeah, California wasn't part of it. it they was were like, doing their own thing. Well, I mean, a lot of them I think were owned by like other places, like and then like yeah. Louisiana was wasn't part of it and stuff. So essentially, you still had like a um, a sort of you know. Uh, yeah, it was only like 13 parties. So when you're watching it, you're going, they're going to the South and you're like, why is, why is, and that's what, when they refer to the South and they never mention Texas in America and you're like, oh, because traditionally. It wasn't, yeah. You never owned that. Was it, did they think of it as another country in a way? Like it wasn't part of the state, another, another part of the continent or like another well, area. Well, states, to... it's so funny because when you say like, oh, it's an independent state, it's usually refers to a country, but. Mm. Those states, I mean, they're all that the United States of America is all of these states uh, essentially united. That's why they all have different laws and stuff. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Even tax, like literally, you go over a state line and jeans cost you twenty quid more. Like literally, God damn, it's all down to the Republicans, <laughs> right? Um, <laughs> so, um, Gall 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 yeah. So basically, the Republican Party of Minnesota, for instance, adopted a platform in eighteen seventy four that said it guarantees that the grand old party that saved the country is still true to the principles that gave it birth. And that is good partying. Liquor, booze, fireworks. Man said liquors and booze like it's not the same thing. <laughs> like it? liquor, booze, booze, alcohol. No, no, That's what we're about. Liquor, liquor and booze, I feel like. No, they're the same thing. I can't yeah. even get out Liquor, of that, booze, alcohol. alcohol that drinks. Is the three things that we're really championing. Um <laughs> In spite of its nickname, though, the Grand Old Party was only a mere teenager in 1870 since the Republican Party had only been formed in 1854 by former Whig Party members to oppose the expansion of slavery into Western territories. Right. So they, so they, you can see there was a shift in thinking where we were getting closer to civil rights. Imagine, imagine, yeah, back in the day, if you said this, like, uh, you know, uh, I believe that we shouldn't expand slavery i i feel like slavery shouldn't be something that's part of our history I, I believe that we we shouldn't use other human beings to do our work imagine that <laughs> look at this guy next he's going to be saying we should let women vote <laughs> <laughs> imagine that being seen as progressive yeah i believe that the use of humans as yeah. cattle chaining them to 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 to, to each other and and letting them sleep in quarters that are not fit for humans and not not even fit for animals. That, yeah. that was progressive. I mean, we laugh at a lot of laws now that we're like, of course that law would exist because you should, no way you should do that. But there was a time when you needed to explicitly say you cannot do certain like, things. Yeah, you're not allowed to beat your woman. What? Yeah. What do you mean? What? 
What the hell do you mean I'm not allowed to that's, be my woman? That's a healthy relationship. That's what them. That's the kind of conversation that these but guys are like. How do I keep her yeah. from talking to me in a way, in a manner in which I do not like? That and that was literally the conversation. And then yeah, so that's that's that why it's funny when, we look, back, happened, when yeah. we look back at those laws. And sometimes I forget, and I'm like flipping out. Still a long way to go, but we've come a long way yeah, at the same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, like, like, yeah. Like, you shouldn't kill people. Well, why goddamn not? Bruv, think about that, though. The old Wild West, yeah? If you killed someone, bruv, I've read this. You could kill somebody if they called you a liar. That was, like, legit. If the sheriff came in, like, come in swinging, go, what's, go what's going on here? I believe you just shot a man, Kay. He called me a liar. Oh, okay. Want a beer? <laughs> yeah, me wrong. It's, it's just cool. fine. It's just fine. Cool. So and then is... slowly they have to explain. Look, guys, unless someone's really done something bad, like <laughs> killed someone you know, not really allowed to but kill it's, them. It's, Spit it's, off. Bit out of pocket. So, so what it just goes to show is, throughout history, you always get a bunch of people that are like, "This is, this is, this is madness." Political. Yeah, yeah. This is political. Political. <laughs> That's what I said. Hey, political. what? It's politically political correctness yeah. gone wrong. They, no, uh, you uh, can't <laughs> kill a man. No, you know what this is. This is typical from the left. Yeah. What they want is, you know, they don't they don't want us to have slaves. They think that what we're gonna have to start paying people a wage yeah. to continue doing this work. And you know what else we're gonna have to do? We're going to have to maybe give our women rights. You know, we're going to have to let them get this. If we if we listen to what the left want, we're going to have to let our women go out and work yeah. earn money. And it, well, why are they going to need us? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What exactly. will be the need for men exactly. in a society like that? What's next? Equal rights. <laughs> That's why I find it funny when like I hear people now that like go, um, you know when there'll be certain ideas about like equality in terms yeah. of like like for example like now the trans debate is a massive one and it's like trans people take up I think it's like zero point zero one percent of all of the population and like yeah. to these like right wing nuts it's like yeah. <sighs> like like the left wing will act like it's every one of us yeah, like yeah. one in one of us is trans or whatever yeah, yeah. and then the right wing will, will act like that as well like it's all of them yeah, it's yeah, everywhere yeah, 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 yeah. and it's just like in the middle we're all just like bruv like there's like let people just be what they want to be yeah like. Yeah. And like, like, great. Let them be trans. Let them be tra like. Let trans people live their lives here. We don't have to like chastise them for it. Yeah. And then they're over there like, no, no, this is, this is no. Uh, so yeah, if you want to listen to that and a bunch of other Patreon exclusive podcasts, plus all the content you listen to on a regular basis, just a little bit earlier, head over to patreon.com forward slash ain't got a clue or, or check, check the, the link, link in the, the episode, episode description. description. What? Yeah. Say at the same time.